Hey, I'm Shoshana Chaim, co-host of the Plant Trainers Podcast, helping you improve your quality of life through nutrition and fitness. And today I want to talk to you about picky eaters. And we're going to talk about three ways to get your picky eater to eat almost anything. And, you know, it. I've taught so much about picky eater. I've taught workshops in our Facebook group. I talk about it all the time. Um, it's really, really difficult to get kids who are already picky to start to eat foods that are healthy for them, that we'd like them to eat so that we can eat meals all together. And it's really important because we wanna be sharing our food together. We wanna to make sure that when we go out, there's food for them to eat wherever we are, but we also wanna make sure that they're getting their nutrients in on a regular basis. And what you need to kind of step away from a little bit is not every single meal is going to be perfect and that's okay. But the more that we give them those meals that we really don't feel good about, the more chance that they're going to want that more and more. So it's really important that whatever level you're at now, that you stay consistent and continue giving them those really good nutritious foods that they like now. But let's concentrate on the foods that we want them to eat that they're not eating already. So the first tip that I have for today is to set an example. A lot of us are picky eaters too. I'm not so picky, but a lot of you are picky eaters too. And when you say, I'm a picky eater, I'm a picky eater, you label your child as a picky eater, then they're gonna follow that. They're gonna follow that suit. So whether you're a picky eater or not, trying new foods, um, putting putting different varieties of foods in front of you and talking about how you may not have eaten something in a long time but you're trying it again, or you don't normally like Indian food but you're gonna give it a try, or uh, you might not love cilantro, but you are going to try to eat more parsley. Using this kind of vocabulary, the children are going to catch on. Don't put on a big show for them. Be authentic about it, but start to set an example of how you try new foods and how you start to incorporate new foods into your life as well. Number two, what I would love for you to do is I would love you to remove the expectation and remove the emotion that you feel when you are trying to get your child to eat something new. We would all love our children to eat beans and chilies and salads and curries and everything on the face of the earth. And we really, we want them to do it because we want, like I said before, we want things to be easy. We want them to be healthy. We want them to be eating nutritious things. But at the same time, if they see us on high alert, if they see our emotion, they're gonna go in for control because they don't want your emotions to control the situation. They wanna control the situation. And the one way that they can control things, they're told when to go to school, they're told what to wear, they're told what their name is, they're told who to play with, they're told all these things, but all of a sudden, they can close their mouth and not let the food in. It's one thing that they can control and we don't want them to feel like they have to control that situation. We want them to feel like they already have control of that situation. So remove your expectations, remove your emotion from it, put the food in front of them and don't make a big deal out of it either way. Definitely praise them if they eat it, but don't make a big deal of it if they don't. And don't say, oh, you're such a good girl, you're such a good boy when they do eat it because then when they don't, they're gonna feel like they're not a good girl, they're not a good they're not a good boy. There's so much psychology in this. So the truth is you put food down and say, you know, here, here's the food. Are you going to give this a try? And if you say are, keep in mind, you've given them a choice. So if they say no, you could, there's nothing you could do about it. Right. Or you could say, are you going to try the green bean or the blue bean or the black bean? <laughs> Which one would you like to try? And when they try the green bean or they try the black bean, great. But when we're giving them a choice to say yes or no, we need to respect that. So all of that emotion that we feel, we need to pull it away. All right. And number three is we need to make it fun. It's really important to make um, it fun when we have picky eaters or when we think that kids are on the verge of saying no. You know, you can be. Um, if you're trying to eat, I don't know, if you're trying to a new seaweed, right? You're trying to include dulse into your diet or you're trying nori on sushi. You could say, oh, let's pretend that we are, and of course, aging permitting. Um, but you'd be surprised how older kids, you know, more like eight, nine, 10, 11, will actually go for this too. You could pretend to be, you know, um, you, 
explorers at sea, so you have to eat the seaweed. Or um, you know, if it's a, if it's a young kid and it's a specific color, you could say, let's eat the red tomatoes. You love Elmo; it's Elmo's favorite food because Elmo's red too. Um, you could say, we're all gonna try it together, or we're gonna sing a little song first, or we're gonna do a little poem first, right? When we're when the kids are really little, we're going, oh, put the airplane in, put the airplane in. If we need to get our kids to eat a certain way, sometimes we need to be a little tricky. Um, it's really great to, actually this is a fun idea, if you get the whole family together to say, we're gonna try a new food, we're gonna try kohlrabi, or we're gonna try fennel, or we're gonna try beets, and you put it on a plate, or you put it under a little cup, and everybody has to pull up the cup at the same time and pop it in their mouth and watch each other's expressions, right? There's lots of different games that you can play. Now, if you would like, to find out another really fun way to get picky eaters to eat. Uh, Dr. Pam Popper has shared a way on her podcast with us, which is the Plant Trainers Podcast, um, number 299. So if you go to planttrainers.com slash 299, then you will be able to hear the way that Dr. Pam Popper recommends that parents get their picky eaters to eat new foods as well. So we hope to see you there and check out all of our podcasts and uh, hope you don't have a picky day.